Hi everyone, welcome you all. So in this video, I'm going to explain about uh, test execution. So during this phase, a testing team will carry out the testing based on the test plans and test cases they have prepared. So what is an NT criteria for test execution? So before test execution, we need to have a uh, test cases by hand and test data and plus test plan and test stated. So these are the different documents we should have before jumping into the test execution. So what are the different activities we do as part of test execution? So test, exec test cases are executed based on the test planning. So what test planning contains? Test planning contains what to test, how to test and when to test. So based upon these three criteria, we have to execute our test cases. And status of the test cases are marked as like pass or fail or sometimes blocked and run and other statuses. We need to mark them as different statuses. And documentation of test results and log defects for failed cases is done. So especially in the execution phase, we need to also uh, make a record of uh, test results. Along with this, whenever we found some defects, we need to report them to the developers. So we need to make, make a note of them. So that is also one of the activity during test execution. And all the blocked and filed test cases are assigned bug IDs. So every logged or failure test cases we need to also assign some corresponding bug id or defect id and retesting once the defects are fixed as soon as the defects are fixed by the developer we need to retest them in the next builds and defects are tracked till closure so once we raise a defect that should be tracked till end of the cycle because when we reopen when you raise a defect it will be new status then developer will open it, then he will fix it, then we need to re-verify it, then we need to close it. So it will go through multiple statuses, multiple stages. So we need to track them. So these are all the uh, different activities we do as part of test execution. So the main deliverables in the test execution is, it provides a defect and test case execution report with completed result. Completed result. And what are the guidelines for test execution? So the build being deployed to the quality assurance environment is the most important part of the test execution cycle. So we need to do test execution only on QA environment or quality assurance and testing environments. We need to deploy the build on QA environment. And test execution is done in the quality assurance environment. As I said before, the testing should happen in the QA environment. And test execution happens in at least two cycles. So one cycle of testing is not at all enough. Not only two, we need to also have multiple cycles. Right, a lot of testing, regression testing, functional testing. So we need to do certain kinds of testing in multiple cycle till our uh, software is quality, get the quality. And test execution phase consists uh, executing the test cases along with that, if you are automated your test case along with the Automation scripts also should be executed. So as part of the test execution phase, we need to execute our manual test cases along with your automation test cases. And exploratory tests are carried out once the build is ready for the testing. So once the build is ready, we need to first do the exploratory testing. And then we'll do the sanity testing and continue with the functional test. So they are the guidelines for the test execution. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel to get more updates on this.